All right. Anybody who's got questions for me? The doctor is in. All right, Alex, it's Shay. Shay. I am obviously, yes, I'm still waiting on my license. So I've asked Nick, but I do have a question. Is there something that I should be doing in the meantime until I get my license? Yeah. Great question, Shay. Okay, so the first thing I would do is really getting your agency started. So if you can't get started selling yet because you're waiting on your license, which I can't believe you're still waiting on your license. Um, I mean, Ohio, right? So I don't know what the holdup is. But um, have you called to find out? So I was going to call this week. Um the licensing they said it could take up to 30 days i assume it's just they're taking their time um so i really don't know <laughs> okay but i'll call this week yeah it's always good to follow up but to answer your question what can you do so the first thing i would think about doing is we can get your business started right so we you know you getting started selling does not mean your business can't get started so what i mean by that is you know, if there's some people you know that might be a good candidate for us to bring on board your team, you know, I'd be happy to interview them, you know, set me up on an interview with them and, you know, use my booking calendar. And it's like kind of a real simple process, especially with the people that you're really tight with. It's like, hey, there's this guy who runs a financial company out of Dayton and he's looking for more people here in Cincinnati or more like, let's say, you know, them and they're in in Columbus. It's like, hey, he's looking to hire some people in Columbus. You know, I thought of you right away. You know, let me ask you a question. Are you open to making some additional income on the side? And then they say, well, yeah, that sounds good. What is it? Well, I can't really talk much about it. There's it's financial services. Uh, there's a lot of money in it. And he's looking to bring on some people and, you know, looking to, to train some people up in our business. Um I can sit you up for a 30 minute interview. You know, if, um, when, when are you open? I can get on, put you on his calendar. You know, if they say, no, I'm not interested. I've got a lot going on. Okay, cool. I drop it. You know, I'm not going to try to convince them to come on board with us if they're not looking. Right. But if they're looking, you know, because obviously you were looking, you know, and you don't know who are the people that you know are looking to get into an opportunity until you ask them. You know, it's just one of those things people don't just shout out to the world. Hey, I'm looking to get into a business. I'm looking to make more money. You know, people don't do that, you know, but when you ask them, they'll, they'll tell you either, oh my gosh, I've been thinking about, it. I need to do something. I heard some rumors that maybe, you know, they're going to do some layoffs. So I'm like really interested in trying to find something else. You know, look, you, you're the answer to their prayer or they'll say, no, I'm happy doing what I'm doing, you know. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, you know, if anything changes, he's a good guy. <laughs> he's got a very successful business and um, he's just looking for some sharp people. So, and then just drop it. And then you got the people, well, maybe, what is it? Well, it has to do with financial services. You ever hear of Mutual of Omaha? And honestly, Mutual of Omaha and Transamerica. Okay, so this is actually what you say They'll say, well, yeah, I've heard of them. Okay, great. Well, they've we are helping them expand some markets in Columbus. And there's a lot of money in it. We're looking to partner with some folks. And I thought of you right away because I always thought highly of you. Um, if I can get an interview with him, would you be open? You know, just on a part-time basis, right? So you notice how sometimes when you throw out company names like, you know, have you heard of Micho of Omaha or Transamerica? You know, they might not have ever heard of them either. They say, no, I haven't. Whether well, these companies have been around for over 100 years in financial services. Look, he's just looking to partner with just a few people in Columbus area. Um, we're looking for maybe part time help right now. And there's a lot of money in it. And if I can get you on it, his interview calendar, do you think you could, you know, you'd be interested? And then just, they either are looking or not. And that's all you got to do. It's just really a question. 
You know, you're looking to make extra money. Because when Andy Albright called me, I said, yes, I am. Right. But he wouldn't have never known unless he called me and asked me. Now, look, I have like one of the largest hierarchies in the alliance, and he's made literally eight figures of income are just on my leg alone. Okay. So do you think it was a smart idea for him to call me? You know, and he didn't know whether I could do it or not. Right. But he called a whole bunch of people and I happened to be one of the ones that took off with it. Right. So there are people on your list that are going to be like that, but you don't know until you ask. And you know what? It's funny. Just like Mark Cassetta said, it's like, you can't take it personally. You know, people get worried about taking it personally. It's like, you know, there's nothing to take personally. You're just asking them a question, right? It's almost like asking them, um, is your favorite color red? <laughs> they say, well, as a matter of fact, it is. Oh, awesome. No, red. I hate red. I can't stand that color. Awesome. I was just asking, <laughs> you know, so... So that's the first thing I would say to do is while you're waiting for a license, let's find some people to build your agency with. The second thing I would do is practice the phone script. Okay. Like you're Shay, I'm assuming that you're going through the training, right? The um, initial new agent training. So you, we're, we're teaching you great Western insurance company. Can you stick that in the freezer, please? Thank you. Great Western insurance company. So I would practice the electronic application. Well, you know what? I don't know if you can without being contracted with them. So anyway, just, you know, learn it. But I would practice the phone script. So get into the phone script and learn the phone script. Like practice it when you're booking appointments and get some of your friends say, hey, man, I just need to practice my phone script. Can you listen to me? You know, get... um, um a mirror, right? Get a mirror to listen to you, you know. Hey, mirror, I just want you. Let me help me practice my phone script, and just get it down. Learn the answer to objections, you know. Learn those scripts, and that's what I would do: is just practice that more than anything else. Not even the presentation, like I mean, learn it later, but learn how to book an appointment. Okay, hope that made sense, Shay. All right. So, yes, thank you so much. Yeah. I love that picture of you. I tell you what, when you <laughs> when you say it when you talk, it comes up and it's like, oh my gosh, what a cool person, you know. So anyway. <laughs> thank you. I mean, you look like a model or a you know commercial for you know corona beer or something. <laughs> anyway, well, don't get hurt at work while you're on this call, okay? 